because I think they start eating each other and we don't want that to happen. Hello. Good morning. It's Monday and guess what? We have praying mantises. They're so little. Look at them. They're teeny. And then that was really fast. We can't even see them hardly. They're so little. Look how little they are. Look at all these up here. There's so many. See them? They're teeny, teeny, tiny. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Mommy's going to have to move those because I think there's a... Do you want me to spray these? That was the first thing we looked at when we came in this morning. My kids are going to be so excited. And I think I'm going to have to, either today or tomorrow, take them outside and get rid of all of them except for a few because I think they start eating each other and we don't want that to happen. So, Paisley's here. Look at her hair bow. We, oh, we made it. Made that. We made it last night out of a piece of fabric. If you have these, if you have, well, if you make these, or if you have these, you don't, you never have to brush your hair. I don't think I'm quite awake yet, but we're here. Look, guys, I made this um, a while back. Oh no, it won't focus. Please focus. Well, anyway, it's a cork with little green stars and. It used to have see-through gems in it, but then they got colored in a blue glitter. So, I've got some papers that I graded last oh. night I need to take out and pass back out because there was a math assessment that I gave, I guess, a week or so ago and realized that half of my kids, more than half of my kids, didn't even finish. So, I'm going to give that to them this morning for morning work and I need to clock in. So, yeah. I hope you all have a good Monday, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Go on, get roses. About a month ago at our school, we did a fundraising activity to raise money for a charity organization called Pasta for Pennies, or Penny for Pasta, Pennies for Pasta. And the money that the kids brought in was collected and donated to an organization to support families who have leukemia. And we actually had a student in our school who found out he had leukemia uh, last year, I think, last school year. And so we raised money for that. And so we had a competition between the grade levels and the grade level that collected the most money, those students who brought money got to have lunch brought in today from Olive Garden. So I had seven kids in my class who had brought money and they had Olive Garden lunch today. So they had spaghetti and Olive Garden salad and breadsticks and then the little Andy's mints that Olive Garden gives. And so I got to enjoy that today as well. And I just got back. My kids actually are in music right now. And so I wanted to show you guys what we put together in our Edward Tulane book today. So this one's mine. So this section here is the part that we put in today. So they had to cut it out because it was four different sections, tape it together, fold it, and then tape it in their booklet. So you can see they were supposed to draw their favorite part. So that's her favorite part apparently. I need to tell her to make sure she's being neat. Let's see what she did. the table, I suppose. So instead of writing, oh, she said the dog peed on the tablecloth. <laughs> How funny. So instead of writing, I just told them they could draw a picture. So that is what we did today. And right now I'm just walking around trying to straighten up a little bit. As you can see, I still have kids who have stuff out on their desks. So I'm going to do that. When my kids get back, we have our fourth math assessment this month. 
and so we'll be taking that and then playtime and we have to go to school 20 minutes extra every day this week to make up for the Wednesday that we missed last week so we'll be doing uh, the rest of our booklet well not the rest of it we'll be doing chapters four five and six today so look what a mess look at this I've been testing this morning I've got all that out Here's our praying mantises. I kept them over here next to me because I didn't want my kids to constantly be up and around. So, does anybody know what praying mantises eat? Because I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should put something in there for them to eat or if I should let them go. So if you know what praying mantises eat, leave it in the comments down below and let me know so maybe I can give these little teeny tiny babies some food or I may just end up letting them go. They're a lot more active now than they were this morning. So I'm gonna get off here and get some work done, but I'll catch up with you guys after school. Well, I made it through Monday, and I didn't have any duty this afternoon, except I had to walk all the car riders into the auditorium, but that only takes like five seconds. So I'm back in the room, and I told you guys this morning that we had extra 20 minutes every day this week. So it is already four o'clock. <laughs> And um, we did work on our novel study this afternoon. I read four, five, and six. My kids absolutely love it. I mean, so far, we're already on chapter six and they are just like hooked. So that's a good sign. I did, however, I don't know if I told you this earlier, but I have so many kids out today that I didn't do anything new for math today. I went over the game guess my number on the thousands chart. I played around with my class as a whole and then I let them get in partners and play with a partner for about 20 minutes or so. And um, yeah, and then we did our novel study and packed up and went home. So I'm gonna try to get out of here at a decent time. I was also going to let my praying mantises go today, but because I had so many kids out, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. That way they'll get a chance to see them. And um, they're wiggling around more. There they are. At one point today, they were all kind of just jumping around and now they're really still. So, it's so amazing, like it's just so cool. I didn't even know that praying mantises were ever that small because they get to be like four, five, six inches long. So that was fun to come into this morning. I need to staple some books that I printed for my small groups for tomorrow. I have a group that's my group that's more like guided reading and then I have a group that's an independent group that are reading like PQRS levels. So they're like way up there. So I give them something to work on independently, but I've got to staple those books together and staple their work packets together. So I wanted to show you guys this really cute dress that I got at Old Navy yesterday. It was actually an online order because they don't sell this dress in the store. And I guess whoever ordered it decided they didn't want it or for whatever reason. And it was on the clearance rack and I just fell in love with it. So here's the top. It's got the cold shoulder with the little ties and it's like a swing dress. It's just like a really comfy, um, flowy dress. And it's like a emerald green color with black stripes. And it's super comfy and cute and I just love it. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Oh, and my shoes. I'm just wearing my chacos, my black chacos. I've had these shoes for like literally probably 13, 14 years. And I love them. Hello. Paisley's been upstairs. You look pretty today. I like that shirt with that necklace. So, table's cleaned off, counter's cleaned off, copies are made, and we are getting ready to head out. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. 
be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you liked it. If you did, subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos from us. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye. What do you think about the praying mantises? I think they're cool. Comment how many you think we're going to keep because we can't keep all of them because they'll start eating each other. Yeah, I don't know how many. We might just get rid of them all. Your bubble gum smells good. <laughs>